Hello, Mr. Hunter here. I just wanted to make this video to clarify my instructions on this task as well as to explain what you have to do subsequently. Um, the question I was trying to pose is this, it was about significance of the Jack the Ripper case and of what was going on generally in Whitechapel in the 19th century. Um, so just as a reminder, we, we measure significance based on the five R's, remembered, resulting in change, remarkable, resonant and revealing. The definitions are there if you need them and will be on blog. Um, what you had to do was to complete the table on this slide here um, on these four areas, transport, living conditions, factories and the growth of manufacturing and the growth of the media. Now, I realise because you haven't got your exercise books um, that this might be quite tricky in terms of looking back on what you've done previously. So I will attach some of the PowerPoints that we've looked at, but even then that might still be a bit tricky. So I'll also ensure that there are some links to follow and you might have to do a bit of your own research but the key things really that you need to follow through on are transport how transport was changing in the industrial revolution so you've got the evolution of trains for example in london you've got the beginnings of the london underground and the tube network but in places like whitechapel transport links are still quite poor um so um, just try and bullet point three key facts um, about transport in this era. What the living conditions were like. We know Whitechapel was one of the more was one of the poorer areas of London. So three facts about what it was like to actually live there at the time. Factories and the growth of manufacturing. Um, so what the, uh, three facts about maybe what the conditions were like for people who worked in them, the pollution they caused, the effects that they had on towns and communities and so forth. Um, would be great and finally the growth of the media this was especially important in the jack the ripper case um as we know from our dear boss lesson the role that the media played in um let's say at best um a neutral role at worst perhaps even maybe propagated and extended some of the myths and then on the second column just to explain how significant they were um, using um, uh, at least one of the five R's for each entry. OK, so fill in that table. Any questions, just drop me a line from your school accounts to my email, um, which will be on Frog or on our Microsoft Teams group, which I will make sure that I check tomorrow. Um, and um, if you can upload your work to Frog um, now, because of quite a uh, because a few of you struggle with this, I am happy for this to sort of be two of your lessons work but if you have already completed the table then I'd like you to answer this question what was the most significant area of change in industrial revolution era Whitechapel um, so you need to write down your judgment basically deciding between um, what saw what what saw the most amount of change out of transport living conditions factories and the growth of manufacturing or the growth of the media okay your call cool. um, and as for how to present the answer if um, as a bare minimum like two paragraphs uh, one um, show it saying what you think and um, a second comparing it to uh, one of the other areas um, would be nice to see all four covered uh, leading to a sustained conclusion but it's up to you and depending on your time constraints and so forth how far you take that um, as I said like if if all I see is the table as a bare minimum, that is fine. Um, and what I would like to see ideally is the table followed by your judgment. Day. But obviously, again, make sure that it fits in with your scheduling and what you would normally be doing um, time wise if you were in school as normal. OK, so best of luck. Remember, contact me if, there's it, if you've got any questions and otherwise upload to Frog or email it over to me when it is done.